So I would like some of you to share how you are dealing this situation in, in your own. Well, Taiwan is now, I think Taiwan is now uh, without COVID for like uh, a month that uh, we don't have any confirmed cases. And so uh, we're still working and our social is still working. Our society is still working. Everyone has to work and go to school. And uh, I think that uh, uh, it's, there's only one, uh, one thing influence that uh, uh, only students have to have uh, another month to go to school because uh, they delay the semester, this, this, this semester from the March through July. So uh, we have only one month this of uh, summer vacation. And uh, I think that, that other things that uh, working and any, 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 any things else was still working that is still normal. And uh, we have a social distance for uh, tra uh, public tra transport. We don't have, uh, we have only locked down the foreign visitors that uh, there's no foreign plans recently but uh, as today that the government has announced that Australia, New Zealand and Vietnam will be reopened soon maybe the next uh, next month or in July there there will be a reopen so uh, I think that uh, the sketchers in Taiwan we are still have our events every week and everything's just fine and uh, we hope that we can go to uh, Indonesia in September and also the next year Korea soon so I think Taiwan is still in normal situation okay but I think that's all for Taiwan okay well <laughs> thank you uh, Ivan uh, yes. maybe before Chang Wen say something um, yeah. since uh, Indonesia has been brought up uh, mm. uh, a number of times now uh, we have been in touch. Alvin and I have been working with the host of each year's uh, Asia Link, and uh, it is looking very unlikely that it will go on because it's mm -hmm. still bad in Indonesia. And yes. so, uh, Tamrin is at the moment uh, trying to work out a way to refund everybody or to hold on to the ticket so that you know we can push back to next year. So, yes. the highest likelihood is that it is not going to happen, it's uh, going to be pushed over the next year. But same mm -hmm. place, it's going to be Bandung again and uh, yes. Suwon where uh, I believe Chi Sung is, uh, they have very graciously uh, agreed to uh, uh, push theirs back to 2021. And yes. uh, this Asia link is open to anyone, uh, including those, our friends uh, from the West. If you want to come, uh, yeah, uh, in due time, look for the details uh, on our websites. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chang Wen from Taiwan. Uh, my English is not very good. Uh, the situation okay. in Taiwan is uh, better than uh, three months ago. Um, three days ago, I uh, everyone go out with a mask more in Taiwan. Uh, uh, three days ago, I go to the coffee shop. Uh, the coffee shop, uh, there are few, not, not more people here. Just uh, one, one table, uh, one, one people, one person. I see. And I, I sketch this. So nice. <laughs> I think uh, we we are we are lucky. Uh, the, our government uh, did a great job, so we are uh, safe now. Uh, uh, so, uh, please stay safe. Yes, stay yes. safe. And, stay safe uh, and keep more, sketching. More, 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 more people go out in Taiwan now. Okay. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I, okay. we, didn't, we didn't hear anything about South America or Central or South America. Very well, thank you. Thank you very much. I am from USK, Florianopolis, in Brazil. I don't know if you can... Minneapolis. 
Florianapolis. Yes, it's a, Florian, yes, it's a, it's a city in the south of Brazil. Fortunately, we are going uh, better than some other cities, bigger cities in Brazil. Uh, there's uh, the ICTs are the healthcare ICTs are still still have uh, they're still open. Uh, thankfully, there is still room to more people, and we didn't, didn't have so much people infected. So it's uh, but we are we are closed. Uh, public transport is closed. Stores uh, have reopened with strictly uh, rules from about a week, a week or two weeks. But and we cancelled our meetings on on March, March 17th mm. our, was our last uh, uh, real meeting on this street, and we, we did uh, used to to used to do meetings every, every three weeks, and. Now we have to. We are going to have. We did four four virtual meetings up to now. Uh, so we, as virtual meetings are easier to to organize, we have uh, we are doing them every two weeks instead of three. And on the first meeting, we have we break our record of participants. We have fifty five persons uh, drawing at the same time. They are arranged like every every normal meeting with people. Now at the same time in a, in a, at the same hour. Okay. Uh, but uh, besides of that, uh, we are we have a, a, a WhatsApp group. It's uh, it came from our, an exhibition we organized last year, and when the exhibition ended, we decided to keep the WhatsApp group uh, and start to aggregate more people. So now it, it works also as a real good communication tool. And for the virtual meeting, the people, uh, the moment they start to draw, they start to post photos and and the beginning of the sketches, the end, the videos, and so on. So it's a it's quite a, a, fun, a fun experience. Uh, I also would like to share uh, what the other group other groups in Brazil are doing. Uh, I will share my screen. Okay, I can't. I can't uh, screen sharing. No, I, I, I think it's not possible to share. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, uh, no problem. No problem. The Uber Sketchers Rio. They are doing two two activities in this period. One is uh, a, a kind of USK talks, a local version of US USK talks that they call it Happy Hour, Hora Feliz in Portuguese. Every Wednesday night, they invite someone to 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 a conversation, to a kind of podcast. And also, they are doing like the what they call knowledge pills. Uh, they invite uh, uh, artists from Brazil to present their work and what and how, how they sketch, the techniques they use, and and everything. So it's uh, is what this the Urban Sketches Rio is doing to to keep people uh, entertained okay. during this this period. And uh, yes, I think it's uh in our, our uh, one interesting thing in our, in our local Florianopolis virtual meetings is that we are attracting people from other cities also. So it's not, uh, uh, we don't have this uh, location barrier. So it's more, it's easier to, to find, to invite people from other cities. That's, okay. that's what we're doing to, to keep thank people you. busy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very very quickly from from Chicago from Alex is is, is Alex is hi hi hello everybody uh, we, uh, sorry but we we don't have much time but it's... very quickly we are we are doing weekly meetups on Facebook we call them virtual because for the lack of the better word um. We give our t uh, our sketchers themes, and we're trying to keep it humorous and lighthearted. And uh, what's interesting that is happening during these meetups is we have a lot of people participating. Usually, people who have trouble to come to real meetings now finding an opportunity to join. And these meetings la last for a long time. We we give them a certain time to post the sketches that they do from home or alone uh, outside. And then we have a discussion on Facebook. And those discussions uh -huh. last 
for an hour, an hour and a half afterwards. Okay. And I hear feedback that people look forward to those Sundays. It's the best part of their week. The whole week they're waiting for that Sunday to arrive. I have a big team of admins here. Uh, we are eight or nine, <laughs> I don't remember. Eight or nine admins. So every week somebody else takes on uh, hosting and are the admins participating and it's a great time. That's awesome. So encouraging to hear. Um, yeah. And we have a lot of people joining. Like I, I expected that nobody is going to be joining the chapter this time because we are in lockdown for more than two months now. Mm -hmm. um, I can't process requests to join fast enough. <laughs> you canceled your big event, right? Yeah, I guess. I would, I would call that a good problem. Yes, it is. 